name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Honey and we're working on her down. Now, just to warm her up, I'm just gonna get some food, put it to her nose. Honey, down. Yes, good girl. I'm giving my treats in an underhanded fashion, just to prevent her from popping up. I'm gonna do that one more, and this is all to imply a stay. Okay, which just prevents her from doing something called dining and dashing, where the dog takes the food and runs off as soon as they got it. We want a dog just to wait a couple seconds for us to give them either another command or even just to release them like I did by tapping on the head. I'm gonna to toss some food, we're gonna do that again. Honey. Down. Now I'm gonna go ahead, wait honey out, give her the chance to do what I asked. Yes, good girl. It's really important to wait your dog out, give them that chance, because that's when the real learning is going to happen by figuring out exactly what we're looking for. Let me go ahead and treat her one more time. I'm going to tap on the head to release. Okay, we're going to do that one last time, but honey's doing great so far. So I'm just going to walk around just to reset her. Oh, you got an itch. Come on. Down. Yes. And you see I'm saying yes and then treating her as soon as her elbows hit the ground. Can I give her one more? Tap on the head. And that was really nice from Honey. I like how fast she was responding. Even though in that second round you saw she took a second, she still figured out what I was asking. Really nice job from Honey. She did excellent today. Good job.